Myself and Steve were headed out to look at a piece of equipment that uh, some of our guys had called about having a problem with. We walked through the plant, walked out the back door, and about that time he collapsed. I got down beside him and checked for a pulse. He did not have a pulse, and I started CPR on him immediately. There was a few, I don't remember how many people around. I, I motioned one of them to call ERT, and then I had another one go for an AED machine. We got a call on our link radios. Me, Jeff Pace, and Nick Freeman are all part of the emergency response team. When we got there, Steve was laying on the ground. The minute we arrived, training kicked in for these type situations, and immediately we just went to work, the three of us. While Eric was doing compressions, I took the scissors out of the AED kit while Jeff was setting up the AED kit and cut away the victim's shirt. And after the AED administered the shock, then we continued CPR. As Steve regained consciousness, fellow ERT members helped us put Steve on the backboard. That way we could hand him off to paramedics. You know, what we did that day, it didn't seem like much because we just did what we was trained to do, but it was a very big impact on his family and I'm sure his coworkers and his friends around him. If we wasn't there that day and we weren't properly trained, he might not have went home that day, and his family probably would never saw him again. It was just a matter of timing, people volunteering to do the right thing, taking the time to do the right thing, and I'm a testament to that work 